Hi, this is Tony Sagami. Hey, let's talk a little bit about currencies and about Taiwan this week. You know, most of the currency news we hear about is either about the Chinese Yuan or the U.S. dollar. Both of those certainly are the most important currencies as far as the American investors. And, but there's a lot of ups and downs in other currency markets. This week, let's talk about the Taiwan dollar. The Taiwan dollar has been the strongest performing Asian currency in the last quarter, and it recently hit a 13-year high. That's pretty strong performance, and the reason for that is the Taiwan economy is on fire. Taiwan grew by 9.8% in the third quarter. That's the best and fastest growth of the 10 largest Asian countries. So that's uh, a powerful economy. Now the strong Taiwan dollar uh, does make Taiwan-based products more expensive abroad, and that cuts the value of those profits that are sent back home once they're converted into its home currency. You know, some of Taiwan's uh, big chip manufacturers, as a matter of fact, the two largest chip manufacturers in the world are based in Taiwan. Taiwan Semiconductor, uh, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange, TSM. Uh, TSM is a ticker in Taiwan Semiconductor. And United Microelectronics. That ticker is UMC, also on the NYSE. UMC. Now, those companies, their revenue is denominated in U.S. dollars uh, primarily because they sell uh, most of their business to America. And here's what they said about the rise in the, in the Taiwan dollar. Both of them said for every 1% increase in the Taiwan dollar, it would erode their profit margins by 0.4 to 0.5%. So that's some pretty serious erosion. Now let's talk some other numbers. You know, Taiwan's not that big of a country. There's only 23 million people there compared to 330 million in the U.S. Its per capita income is only 16,000. That makes it the 41st in the world compared to 46,000 in the U.S. Now, the most important statistic is that 70% of the U.S. economy is based on consumer spending, but only 35% of Taiwan's GDP is consumer spending. So that strength means uh, that lack of consumer spending means that this rise in the dollar is especially painful to them. Now, fortunately, Taiwan uh, doesn't do, does do a lot of business with America, but its number one trading partner is Japan, and its number two trading partner is China, and the U.S. is a distant third. So really, what you want to do is you want to avoid Taiwan companies that are doing big business in the U.S. and focus on ones that are doing big business with its Asian neighbors. Now, here's a, the most U.S.-dependent ones would be Taiwan Semiconductor, United Microelectronics, and A A uh, A U Optr Optronics. That ticker is A U O A U O. Uh, A U Optronics makes flat screen panels and sells them other flat screen makers. Now, as far as uh, companies that are doing a lot of business with their Asian neighbors, two to take a look at are Honhai Precision Industries. That ticker is H N H A F dot P K H N H A F dot P K, and Silicon Motion Technology. Now, that ticker is S I M O. Uh, trade on the NASDAQ, S-I-M-O. Now what CMO does, they make flash memory chips that are used in mobile consumer electronic devices like smartphones and tablets. As a matter of fact, the tech research firm uh, iSupply estimates that the market for high-speed flash chips that uh, Silicon Motion makes is going to reach 1.7 billion gigabytes this year. That's a triple from last year's 428 uh, million gigabytes. More importantly, uh, iSupply thinks that demand is going to reach 8 million gigabytes by 2014. So that's a ton of business coming for uh, Silicon Motion and the people in that same uh, flash memory business for mobile devices. Now Samsung is uh, Silicon Motion's largest customer. And it's number two, second largest customer is Hone High Precision Industries. So they are doing lots of business with their Asian neighbors. And Silicon Motion Technologies is only selling for 10 times earnings, has two bucks a share in cash, zero debt, and saw its sales jump by more than 40% in the last quarter. Oh, and it's only a $4 stock. And it is traded here on the NASDAQ, SIMO. I'm not saying you should rush out and buy it, but these are the type of dots you connect with the different variations of currency, strong economy, and uh, some opportunity. So keep an eye on that, and maybe uh, it'll fit into your portfolio and help you make a lot of money. Until next week, this is Tony Sagami signing off.